You played at Ohio. You guys went to the tournament back when that uh, Gary Trent team, I believe, was 95, 96. More stress, more pressure as a player or as a coach? You know, I think as a player, you know, back back then, you know, you didn't know what you didn't know. And, you know, today with the social media and the attention everyone's getting, you know, our, our guys have been a loose bunch and a fun, you know, loving bunch. They, they love each other. And, you know, before we played in the MAC tournament, not one guy had played in the MAC tournament up in Cleveland before. So they went into that tournament, you know, with, with, you know, just a loose mentality. You know, before the championship game, they're in there listening to music, laughing, talking. And I, I was elated to hear that. And it was the same feel coming into this tournament. You know, you don't have the same hoopla with everyone walking around and the open practices with the fans. So when we get there, you know, there's maybe 1,500 people in the arena, a lot of Bobcats, and it was almost like another game for our guys. That's awesome. I, I, I love, too, the story that I read about your uh, your group text that you have with all those guys that you played in that NCAA tournament with. Do they, they, they keep you grounded? Oh, special group. You know, a lot of successful people, and a couple of them are going to be here tonight. And, you know, it's, you know there's, there's no better feeling than being on a team, a championship team. You're bonded for life, and you have, always have a connection. You know, you're going to be in each other's weddings and reunions, and, and we have a text chain like, we're in the locker room yesterday, on the bus trip yesterday, cracking jokes. And like I said, there's no no one safe, you know, me included. You know, we played at Indiana, and they triple-teamed Gary Trent and left me and Gino Ford wide open. I was three for ten, and Gino was one for nine. And uh, one of my teammates <laughs> after the game came up to me and said, hey, you going to sleep here tonight? I said, what are you talking about? He's like, that brick house you built at the top of the key. <laughs> all those bricks you threw up. And, uh, but love those guys and, uh, you know, appreciate everything they've done for me and their support. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.